Hey everybody, this is Curtis at BullyTree.com, BullyBlogging.com, and BullyFights.com, the world's number one bully dog classifieds. Today I'll be shooting this video for BullyTree.com, which is my pedigree database and blog website. Even though it, the video may be streamed on my other websites also. Well, what am I going to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about something that's really dear to my heart. Um, being in a dog based business, being around bully dogs and owning bully dogs since 1987, I have to say that I, I know a thing or two about bully dogs. And for that matter, a lot of different breeds of dogs. Um, even though I, I claim to be no uh, professional, I think I know enough um, to have success at, at keeping dogs and owning dogs. So here's my take. What does it take to run a bully kennel? Are you ready to run a bully kennel? Do you think you can handle it? Well this blog and this uh, video is for people that have, that have not tried it yet and, wa and uh, are wanting to do it and thinking that it's quite easy. The first thing you need to run a kennel is moolah, money. Even if you have two dogs in your kennel and you call your operation a home breeding operation, there are still costs involved. So here goes. Let's, let's cover some of the costs that, we, that would be involved in running a kennel or even owning a dog for that matter. Cost number one, food. You have to cover the cost of food for the rest of this dog's life if you have two dogs or three dogs or four dogs for the rest of their lives unless you intend to, to, to not have them for the rest of their lives. If that's your plan, well more power to you. Then I'd have to say that you probably shouldn't have one to, 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 to begin with. You would not want to feed your dog a cheap brand of dog food, would you? And so, most brands of dog food at this time, most reasonable, reasonably priced dog foods uh, would probably run you $40 for a 30 pound bag. Um, I'm talking about the Yukonubas and uh, other brands such as, as those. Um, the vet bill is another thing I want to talk about. Okay, so you have, you have one dog. You, or one puppy, it, it needs its puppy shots, yeah or no, yeah, unless you don't plan to, that would, that would suck. So it needs its puppy shots, it's, it needs its, all, all of its boosters and rabies shots, heartworm prevention shots, parvo shots and distemper shots, uh, some of which uh, kennel owners uh, administer themselves, except for the one that ones that you would need a license for, that only vets and licensed uh, personnel can give. Oh, I hear those crows; they're beautiful. Sitting on my front porch is beautiful. The next thing you're gonna you're gonna need is kennel supplies, dog supplies, you know, the disinfects uh, and stuff like that that you need for for, for your kennel, you know. Um, another thing we're gonna need here is um, leashes, collars, cages and pens, unless of course you intend to keep your dog on a chain, which I don't, I don't agree with. If you do, more power to you, but it's my belief that a dog shouldn't be on a chain 24-7. Um, all of these things cost money. And how much money you want to spend on it, on, the, on your dog, it's totally up to you. Um, but I would say if you have dogs and you have bully dogs, you would want to give them the best. So that they can be the best. Like you would want to be the best and you would want your body to be the best. Bearing in mind that you also need, bear in mind that you would also need uh, emergency money, yeah? You need some emergency cash here and so 
you may have taken your dog to the vet on Monday and shot your wad and then on Wednesday your dog is sick again uh, with something totally unexpected the cough flu an itch you know money is needed for that too so here's my here's my advice to you running a kennel takes money it takes time because you need to spend time with your dogs to train your dogs and make them be the best they can be so you can promote the breed as a positive breed you know not all your dogs may have the same temperament some may be a little bit more feisty and you need to spend time with that dog when you have 12 dogs or 15 dogs the chances are you probably couldn't spend that much time with the dog um, so just remember when you're running a kennel you would like to be in control of everything of your dogs you want to be have enough finances so that you can you can take care of your dogs you want to spend time with your dogs to, to train your dogs and you want to socialize the dog this is a big thing with me socializing your dogs you know sometimes even if you don't you, you, you never train your dog to sit or stay or come sometimes just having your dogs in a social environment can and will help because your dog will get used used to being around different situations without being scared or reacting in a timid or or uh, any kind of negative way so socializing your dog is a big thing how your kennel turns out how the breed turns out in the end would all depend on how you spend time with your dogs how you train your dogs how you feed your dogs and how you present your dogs to the public it's very difficult to present your dogs to the public if your dogs are not socialized and trained and if they don't look good so spend time with your dogs feed your dogs up make sure they have the regular vet visits don't overbreed them and make sure that you give them a really good life that's my suggestion to you on how you can help the breed. Ah, don't forget, no BSL. BSL is not a good thing. Okay, so until next time, peace. Visit my website, bullytree.com, which is my bully pedigree database, bullyblogging.com, which is just my blog that I talk about bully dogs and things of that nature and bullyfights.com the world's number one bulldog and bully dog classifieds